one prong focused on the proposal that schools put forward in terms of how they're going to provide instruction to children once they get back into the classroom. Um, because of the size in terms of the enrollment of schools, we are no longer able to, in most cases, we're no longer able to, um, to, to receive the same number of students within the limited space that the school has. And so most of the schools so far have um, submitted a plan where they would engage the students in some form of alternate shift system. Um, it varies from school to school, from region to region. Um, some schools are looking at a morning shift and then an afternoon shift. Other schools are looking at an alternate system where they, one group of students come in on day one, another group comes in on day two. And whatever it is they have um, proposed and we've reviewed and, and approved, they really need to complement that with some type of home-based instruction so that when students are not in school, they are still, uh, we're still able to engage them in some form or fashion. The district education centers are actually visiting every single school at the pre-primary, primary and secondary level to look at what they have been able to put in place in terms of same efforts to mitigate um, potential risks. So we know that um, students need to be physically distanced at school, so we need to make sure that the seating arrangements will accommodate that. We know that um, frequent hand washing is what is being recommended by the medical experts, so schools need to have facilities in place to allow for frequent hand washing. And so that is the type of thing that um, the DCs are looking at when they are visiting the schools and providing feedback. Where there are situations where a school is not advancing or progressing the way we um, believe they should be doing by now because we are getting ready to receive students next week, then that comes to our attention and then we are able to provide the additional support that is necessary.